of that with a little health. Nice bell. And I know friends who had bells. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe that's because I put bells everywhere. That's why. <laughs> Even on the work uh, that I made for clients, I tried to put bells each time, so my friend knows that. So that's it. With the cacao co cocoa, cocoa, yeah, cocoa and chantilly mug or cup, I don't know. Prepare candies. <laughs> totally appropriate. Yeah, that's totally appropriate. That's right. We need to have candies sometimes. Mm -hmm. Not often, but sometimes. And that's okay, I think. So. I yeah. think we have the drawings. So that's not two details. I have just the line. I don't put the shadows on that, really. And that's because I prefer to do the shadows yes. uh, with the watercolors directly. Uh, I have a little thing there I'm not happy with because I have tangent there just on the, on the feet. Mm -hmm. That's really important there, but for two. That's okay. And this line is more intention. That for the, the knee and the leg. with the glove. Uh, I don't know how we call the little seat, a tabouret in French, but uh, in English I don't know the name. Stool. It's a stool, okay, yeah. I remember that now. Yeah, that's right, it's a stool. So good boys and good girls. <laughs> I have a problem to tell good girls. I don't know. Maybe you want to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm pretty sure that uh, it's better if it stay on my mind. Something like that. You know? So, uh, we can start, I think, with that. So, second time, I think, I, uh, sometimes I protect the drawings with a little uh, layer of uh, fixative. fixative. I'm not sure that I did that for this one, because after that you can't uh, erase. So that's sometimes that's a problem, big problem. And I don't want to have a line too, uh, too straight and too dark because I, I just work after that with the pencil, with the brush and to redraw completely the line with the brush. Uh, Sometimes I do the things that I uh, do the first line in a, not in watercolor but in acrylics. And fix. With, uh, just to fix the uh, line. Yeah, the graphic. And, yeah. Okay. And, uh, not just for fix the graphic but to have a color for the line and uh, that's a color that's uh, stay after, okay. but uh, maybe it's good to do that after the first, uh, the first wash, wash. Okay. that's better. So next time is to do a first wash for that. Uh, we try to have something like this on the pictures, you see, that's something that's more, um, come on, uh, to have not just black papers, and, uh, but to have lights, light colors for that. So that's the things. So we need to start now. Okay. So we will start with the colors. Uh, just before I use normally 
so pad of colors, but I use also, also tube. Uh, I use Daniel Smith often, that's very good brand, very nice one. And uh, that's not expensive for the size because it's the same price than <laughs> this one, this little one, that's Winsor & Newton, very good also. But uh, you see the difference of the, of the size and that's uh, simply the same price. Ah, so <laughs> that's just crazy. And Daniel Smith is really fine and that's a very good one. Uh, I use uh, simple colors for the, for the beginning. I use yellow ochres, uh, burnt ambers, um, I have also blue, cobalt and uh, ultramarine light. And uh, I have also a little point of uh, Van Dyck Brown and uh, often a red uh, that can be um, alizarine, but if I, uh, you have not alizarine, uh, kinacidron uh, magenta or kinacidron red is okay. And for me uh, today it's a kinacidron uh, magenta because uh, I have no alizarine there. I have on the little, uh, little, uh, I, how do you know? How you call that? Um, the, the little pad, little bucket, or uh, I don't know the name really in English, but. Uh, so, and don't forget, you need to have a, a lot of uh, anchor chief, and that's not for the COVID. <laughs> that's not because I have a, a cold. That's because that's very useful to clean uh, the colors and to to erase also okay. too much colors and uh, so it's and uh, it, it's thick. thick. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't like. I like uh, when it's thick, but also when it's really soft. And uh, I prefer that that the, the towels or something like that uh, paper towels. So uh, I made a Greek consummation of uh, Kleenex <laughs> when when I paint. So uh, you need to have a big brush or something like that also, that works very well. And the first thing is to do something on background. Uh, not very dark for the moment, so... And you need to be sure that your brush is clean. So don't forget two pots of water, that's important. One for cleaning the brush and the other for the, the mix. And we start with something with the with the yellow ochre and with a little uh, burnt amber, um, and that's really light. And the first thing that I need to do is not to have a lot of color on my brush, but more waters, just to put waters where I want to have it. Just on the face, I, I try to preserve a little bit the the, uh, the part of the drawing that I know that I need to have white, really, and white color and a little clear color. But mostly I, I do that. Uh, So when the paper is really um, wet like that, it diffuses the color with a random, uh, random um, how, uh, spot or drops. I don't know. And the good thing that you can control a little bit, but not too much. So maybe you will have good effect on that. So now we put a little colors on that. That's to avoid a complete white, uh, white background. So, uh, yeah. so 
can have a little blue just on this part. A little part of blue for these. Because I need to have that more on the shadow. That's uh, a point where you need to take risk. 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 A little bit, just to be sure that you have a background, interesting background. By the way, at the end you can add a spot, something like that, with a toothbrush, but for the moment we just do. We just need to have something with a little, um, how we call that, a stain, yes. So you see that's really light. Pretty sure we don't see a lot on the on the iPad, but I do that a little bit on the beard also. So we do have the same colors. And where the waters it's uh, begin, uh, starting to to dry. You can have a really nice tint on the paper. So very interesting sometimes, and sometimes not. But not too much. there Okay, I think for the moment that's enough. We can add after the... So in a way you don't sweat the paper all over, it's just at some point? Yeah, some that's right. we, we can fashion. do that uh, all everywhere. over, but if, if you do that everywhere, you have not effect like this one. This little mm. one, you see that? I Where see the, that. Yes. the white is stayed just on, like that, with a sh uh, sharp edge, this one with this tent also. This then you have a sharp edge also. Maybe here, if I, I uh, can you also um, uh, dry uh, hair dry? Oh, yeah. But uh, for the moment, I, I don't need so that's nice. And that's often it's interesting to have one, but not too much to uh, to be sure that you have texture on your paper. Can you, you can it? also use something like that just, just to spray. Uh, that's a little spray and like that on the color. If it's not completely dry, you have little effect. We don't see that, no, because it's uh, really light. But that creates uh, some drops, uh, create uh, an interesting effect sometimes. So that, for the moment, that's the beginning. After that, I uh, go more on the on the dark side, uh, <laughs> not the on the dark side, <laughs> on the dark color, but uh, really lightly, uh, just for the shadows with the blue. Uh, for the moment, I need to let that dry a little bit. So we speak about uh, air dryers, and uh, this one is one of the best. That's really important, and uh, you need to know why. Because uh, that's not because it's beautiful; it's really ugly. But it's magic. Uh, it's a cadabra. <laughs> and in French, we tell that abracadabra, and it's oh magic. So that's right with magical things. So that's really great. No, no, that's not important really. But uh, I'm pretty sure that there's a part of magic on that. You want to so, use it? Uh, <laughs> just use it just like that.
and the picture is a whoop, 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 finish. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> Abracadabra. No, that, there's nothing magic like that, but, uh, <laughs> but that's really interesting to have one. But uh, use it when you want to have textures, it's better to let it dry uh, like that. Uh, normally, because uh, the, the paper, have, uh, the color has the time to uh, just uh, come on, uh, 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 travel, travel on the papers and uh, with the water and to create effect. If you dry it uh, too fast, too, too fast uh, you lose this part. So that's really, sometimes you have new effect also, because the colors, some colors are separate uh, with the mix. Uh, the blue and the red often made uh, uh, ultramarine blue made really nice effect. So you need to to try things. So uh, continue. So I, uh, I try to tell you that take your time, don't speed it. Don't try to speed. That's not very good. And, uh, you need to think each uh, for each. Uh, a stroke of paint and brush that you can use and you put on the canvas, on the paper, all the same things. You need to think about that because it's really important to know what you are doing and not do the things by mistake and, uh, and do that just because you think of it. Sometimes you have very nice line and it's accidental, and sometimes it's not. Uh, sometimes it's because you have thinking about this line, but that's just crazy. But uh, you need to be there when you are working. Really be there. That's why I don't uh, put music for things like that. Maybe at, at the end I put music when I have, but for starting something, I like to be just with my think, thinking, with my mind, a clear mind, you know. And just with my own ideas. But that depends, sometimes that change also, that there's no rules for that. But you need to be there at uh, 100 and uh, 200 percent, really, for those who like percentage. I hate percentage. <laughs> so I'm not sure that you see very well, but I put a little with a brush. I tried to have painting who are a little bit dry sometimes, to have just textures. Uh, there's, I'm not sure that you see that directly, there, yeah, okay, there. They're just on the cheekbones, will feel a little bit, uh, um, come on, textures, and that's because I paint with dry colors and that. So when I um, speak about uh, dry color, that's because I don't put a lot of water on the mix that I made on my um, palette and I uh, let that dry a little bit and use a, a little drop of water on my brush but not a lot and I stretch the color and I paint with that uh, I told also, I told, I speak also uh, about the line and that's really important because I have seen a lot of people who made watercolors uh, made a line like uh, as it was or like it was, uh, like a drawing, you know. And, uh, if they made something with ink and they close all the line like they work with vectors or things like that. And uh, that's not very, uh, very nice in the end. Sometimes that works, but uh, the, the best thing is to keep the line open, you know. Well, not all the line, of course, but part of, often. And, uh, 
and that's open that you see that I don't close all the line and all the line have not the same uh, thickness you know that's deep that's depend of where I put them so when it's on shadows it's more thick and when it's on light it's more thin and the curve also you need to pay attention a lot to the curve we need to feel that's very aesthetic and we don't need to think about the line the line is just there to give you an impression of volume and just the things you can use the line in different way also you can use that for a more graphic way, but uh, in this case, I use just the line uh, as something to give an impression and uh, the sense of volume, you know. And that's enough. So I need to pay the attention of my line and to do my best. There, not for the binacles. The, I don't know how I call that binacles in the time. Those glasses, binocle in French, that's why I think. Okay, so we have nice line there on one day. Hello, my line for the moment is. Uh, little bit red, reddish, brownish. And I prefer that for the moment. Uh, normally I will go with the more on the shadow the line there. I'm not reddish like that, but I like to have something vibrate, vibrant. So I use warmer things. before to put after that colder things around. All the the tint who are more warmer when it's uh, surrounded by colder things you feel that more warmer than the than the tint that I have really you know So, we need to feel if it's okay or not. I think we... That's not too bad for the moment. That's okay. I use a lot the, the mirror for that. Not a little mirror to have recoil. I need to find a tint for the, the hair also. So for the moment I am more on my palette, I am more on the camayeu and I, I go with the brownish tint with the reddish and yellowish and the part of blue, but a little one. And I, I play with that, but that's really, uh, um, come on, that's really um, uh, subtle, yes. Maybe I search for a little brush, uh, flat brush maybe, or something close, maybe an angle one. 
just to do some uh, accident on the beard. A little shadow tint, you know, but that's really that's the same color than this, but with a part of blue, a little one, and a part of red, and just to have a colored gray, more close to, more close to amber, but uh, with shadows on. I want to do something with that just on the beard. I'm trying to keep a gesture on that. More part of red sometimes, more part of blue. We need to change that a lot. Each strike needs to be a little bit dif different of the other. You know, each stroke, not each stroke, but maybe one or two. I do three and I change a little bit the color. Another one there. And I change my color each time like that. So that's not for someone who wants to go fast and to speed, <laughs> to do a speed job. That's not my way. I need to have reflection when I work. And I like to have reflection, to think about each stroke, what I can do, what I can do there, if it's the best way that I can take. Or maybe try another things. Brace a lot. And think a lot. Sometimes it's good to don't think too much. But uh, sometimes it's nice also to do it. You know, for this, that's the little texture of the brush. I hope you will see that. You see really the textures normally, so you see and you see the brush. I know that's the uh, oh sorry there. Yeah. That's a flat one with an angle and you see the difference. That's not a straight line. That's cut a little bit. So that makes the stroke very nice and that's because it's a little bit dry that's not completely dry we need to fill a good amount of water that you put on and that's because of the habits that you You will have the good, uh, the good gesture, you know. I use also the angles and all the part of the brush, not always in the flat way. Need to change the angle also. the same color maybe that's the same color than the beard very close to the beard this is that after so 
Well, the moment I am not choose completely the direction of the light, that's why I, uh, I need to do something on the cloth, on the, on the clothes, on the coats before, and on the fabrics. You just see if that's okay or not before to go further. I think you could see spot on the shadows. Choose the tint uh, for the uh, for the coat. So it's red. That's normal, but uh, we need to find if it's a cold red or warm red. Red, sorry, not red. Red. I need to try the good colors. I don't know if it's more pink, magenta, or violet with the blue. That's a thin layer, really, of water. I let part like that to make accident. There. and warmer so that's on the pocket it's the same size the pocket is not a good one this line is not a good one so I need to adjust that after Things there. And on the hat also. And we have also this part to do. And this part is for the so if you want uh, that's the color that's the, there's not a lot of water on that and you see uh, I'm not sure that you feel it but you see the manner that's the brush if you put too much water you are not the You have something like that if you put too much water, you know. But if you don't put too much water and you really stretch that on your palette until it's a little bit more dry, you obtain something like this, you know, with a small effect there. And if it's more dry, uh, you have another one. You see the difference? I hope we will see that. Yeah, you see the difference. So you need to search this sort of effect and you can do that and that and that and that. And you have effect on your brush. Like that is not something to uh, with, with a soft, um, soft edge each time. You have really a uh, strong and uh, hard edge on the on your brush stroke also and that helps to have a drawing who are not just uh, softy and uh, uh, I'm not sure that you tell that but uh, for mou uh, completely flappy. flappy yeah 
I'm not a flappy drone, you know. And, uh, we need to fill textures, and that's not just the classic t aquarelle textures. Uh, with, uh, with the little drop of water and things like that, that's oh. nice effect, but that's not what I search for that. I need to search uh, effects that I can control. That's not because I want to control each stroke, that's <laughs> just because I know the effect that I need to add, and I want to add just that. So why go very, very, very carefully with this part? I need to know for the nose if I keep something there or not. I can change that after, but uh, that better if I have the, the idea on the first time, really. I need to feel on his face, that's uh, a very good guy, a very nice one, you know. Top of the head like an egg. Cadmium red and the Bernsina, no cadmium red, sorry, a scarlet red, um, Kinacidrome red, because I have no alizarin on my palette today, so, uh, and uh, a part of Bernsina, just to, and a yellow curl. And I meant all my mix there directly on the palette and uh, I made the mix and I searched for the right color. Uh, my palette is a little bit clean so uh, I searched for the right color you know and I stretched the color just to see because this part is just with uh, a lot of uh, colors on so it's loaded with a lot of colors but this part is more a transparent one and I need to know what is the color when it's transparent and when it's loaded with all the colors. So, so that's why it's really important to play a lot with your palette. That's very important. And don't forget that you can clean and then you can shift directly if you have too loaded too much color on your paint, on your brush. Yeah. Okay. We start to feel something with the nose and with the volume, a little bit. Uh, volumetrics. I put more red also, just directly on the mouse, even if it's the, even if it's the, the hair for the beard. Uh, on this part, the little cracks there. It's more something that I want to keep warm, like you see the flesh, you feel the flesh. You don't see it, but you feel it. So, and the part of the raid, as I see, it's not... For the moment it's in an odd place. So there is a lot of blood this part also. And I so 
shots for the color of the scarf. Maybe a different red, but I don't know if I want to have a cold one for the moment or I want to have a, uh, a warm white. A warm one. Sorry. Normally this part is more on the light and so on more shiny because I think his nose is not just a, a matte thing, a little bit um, uh, you feel humidity and specular on so I need to have something more darker around this this lighter place. You know. To have water also. This brush is very nice for that. That's uh, that's not uh, that's a synthetic one. Sorry, I'm on my mind. That's a synthetic one, but uh, <laughs> the handle is really awful because it's sticky and uh, because of the bad material that they use. And by the way, they never uh, they never. Uh, made something for the for this, you know. I've sent an email, but I have no answers, and that's for Lanikel. And I'm pretty sure that's a default on the brand, default on this, uh, on the fabrication of this one, because that's crazy. That's how it's sticky. Maybe something like that. I need to just uh, pay attention on this top line there. I wear glasses, but uh, it's not enough now. So. to work with a manifier that's uh, awful for the head that's make me a big headache I try to imagine <laughs> and I cross my finger I need to have a warmer tin there not like this so for that I need to erase a little part of that and for that I need to have a clean, clean, very clean brush and uh, maybe a harder one Try something Not too hard but a little bit more than this one Da Vinci, Da Vinci, not bad, it's for student family and hobby, but it's, it's good brush, it's good brush, not uh, like Rosemary and Co, who are very, very good brush, but for a start, that's okay. I don't, I don't, I don't find what I search, so I try with this one. Because this line, I've put this line there, and I'm not 
pretty happy with this. So I put that, wait a little bit for the water. I think that uh, maybe also the, the pencil just behind that. But I need to try to erase this part a little bit. See, so. I can do that also and put more water and after that just erase. Like that you have a line where well, a little bit blurry and that's not white on that's not a hard edge. You know, that's more like a soft edge. But no that's better. A little bit better. And I need to do something very warm on that. Uh, I think like uh, burnt sienna and uh, scarlet red, you know, with a part of yellow. Okay, um, just to do something very thin. I hope I can do that. Just a part, not on all the things. Uh, see that? That's a little bit. That's. Very, very thin, and we don't feel really the things. It's just a little one. But I need to have a bright, very bright right there. And the color is a little bit dry also. Yes, that's better. And on this bottle. So, yes, I prefer that, that's okay for me, but if it's okay for me, <laughs> it is okay for you. So, this uh, part of blue, a part of in acid or red, and as I tell you, close to the alizarin or permanent alizarin, yes. And this part, there also. Uh, this is for the uh, high lashes. Okay, not too much. It's not a woman. An old guy. That's what's the eyebrow. Okay. I prefer the warm tint because it will be supported after that by the shadow which is a little bit more cold so we had a vibration on that we will have we will have sorry So as you can see, that's not a quick process. Sometimes it is. And sometimes you need to go very faster for this one. There was a long time that I have not made an aquarelle or watercolor. So I want to take my time. Okay. Take a photo. Thank you, Margaret. So, 
I think that's okay. Uh, that's 10 minutes or something like that. Or maybe 20 minutes. So I think I need to do another.